みなさん、こんにちは。Japanese with Chalo へようこそ。Did you hear about this person, influencer that got cancelled in Japan within 48 hours after arriving? So, today, this video, I would like to talk about her experience、uh, based on the video that I watched that went kind of viral, especially in Brazil. Okay,、uh, so people have been criticizing her, and as we know, there's a lot of negativity. Uh, negativity out there in, on the internet, but the purpose of this video is not to add more negativity to you know this story, but to analyze the situation. So, based on my experience living in Japan, I would like to tell you guys you know、uh, some things that you know、uh, are very peculiar about Japan,、um, and I'm sure that uh, if uh, perhaps uh, this influencer knew about those things,、uh, you know. This bad experience wouldn't happen to her.、Um, but anyway, I believe that there are four reasons why she got canceled.、Uh, and we're gonna go one by one here and、uh, analyze the situation and perhaps、uh, learn something. So when you guys go to Japan, you won't、uh, make the same mistakes. So、uh, the first reason why、uh, this influencer、um, got canceled. Uh, it all started as、uh, she was, you know, she just arrived in Japan, I believe, in, in Tokyo, probably in Narita Airport. And she decided to take a bus、uh, from Tokyo to Osaka, which is where she was supposed to do a、uh, volunteering job or volunteering、um, something.、Uh, she doesn't really give us much information, she just says that it was a volunteering and she had a host person, you know, that was supposed to host her. Uh, and that was the person who canceled her and basically said, No, thank you, you gotta go. Right? But anyway, uh, uh, what is a Yakobasu? Yakobasu is a night service bus that we have it in Japan. I believe there are other countries in the world that have similar service.、Um, but in Japan, again, because、uh, it's a very. Japan is, has a culture that you are expected to be aware of the people around you. And you behave in such a way that you do not disturb people around you. That's like, you know, a very strong rule that we have in Japan.、Um, and so, you know, when we talk about night service buses in Japan and Yakoba, so you are expected to、uh, not disturb people、um, when they are in that bus, which the, the purpose mainly is if you are not familiar with what a night service bus is. Is usually you get on, on the bus around 10, 11 p.m., and you, you, know, you are supposed to fall asleep, and as you wake up, you are at your destination, right? So, that being said,、uh, they ask everybody to close their curtains so you know the light, especially if you start getting、um, bright around 4 or 5 a.m., that light won't be coming in the bus. People can still, you know, like keep asleep until they arrive. Around、uh, seven, eight, or six, whatever、uh, the time of you know, the arrival is. But、uh, this person actually had her first cultural you know,、uh, problem at this bus, right? So I put some of the, 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 the dialogue that she, she told us in this video. I have some screenshots in here of the video. But basically, she said that she was, you know, she had her curtains up, her curtain was uh, uh, up, up, and then、uh, she was. Enjoying the view outside, which is understandable, you know, especially when you first get to Japan. I can tell you it's, it's amazing, right? It's very different from other countries. So, anyway, she feels somebody, you know, touching on her shoulders and, and, and says, Would you like to close your curtains, right? In a polite way, I believe. And then she says,、uh, No, I'm enjoying the view, you know, I'm、uh, excited about、uh, seeing everything. And then the, the same person says, but you have to close the curtains. Okay? Now, I am 100% sure that a Japanese person would be, you know, like、uh, polite. I'm not sure if they told her this in English, in Japanese. I don't know if she speaks Japanese.、Um, all this, you know, the, the information that I got was in Portuguese from the, the, the video that she posted. But anyway,、um, then she goes and she says in the video, I'm not sure if she actually mentioned this to the person, you know, but she was like,、um, 
I didn't get it, uh, you know, why I would have to close my curtains because it was, I was on my seat, it was my curtains, you know, like why did I have to close the curtain? So that's what she says in the video. And then she mentions that after, uh, so we believe that she didn't close the curtains, right? Because the dress, uh, the, the bus driver actually comes to her and says, uh, close the curtains, arigato gozaimasu, right? So, and then she had to close the curtains and uh, and then she mentions in the video she even took a, a footage of, you know, the, a pit black a bus and nobody, and she says, and it was super quiet, you know? Um, but again, that is what Japanese people expect in a yakobasu. You know, the curtains will be closed, everybody will be quiet. So obviously if you have your headphones and the sound is too loud, or if you are on your phone and even the, 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 the light on your phone is too bright, you know, all of those things are not expected in a Yakobasu. So obviously if you do so, people around you will not feel very, you know, pleased, right? So this was the reason why I think that kind of led to this, um, situation of her getting cancelled, right? Now, the uh, second reason, uh, it happened at uh, the train station and um, um, on the trains, right? So she was, she made it to Osaka with the bus and then she got, uh, she went to the station and then in the video she mentions how happy she was, you know, for being in Japan. So she was recording, you know, um, uh, her like dancing and skipping and she had her her e uh, ear, ear, earphones or um, you know on and then she mentions that let's see um, some things I translated some things I didn't so this one uh, I did translate she says when I was at the station I was so happy for being in Japan so I was dancing skipping and all I could feel was all the disapproving look from the Japanese people Right. So again, this is a, a kind of a negative feeling that she felt. But, you know, it's common in Japan because people in Japan do not expect somebody to be, you know, like uh, loud and, 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 and dancing and doing something, you know. So they will not look at you and be perhaps in Western culture, we are more used to it now because we see a lot of people, influencers doing it, right? Little dances or whatever. But again, you know, in Japan, it's just, you, you rarely would see somebody doing that, right? Um, and then um, she uh, says in Portuguese, you know, I didn't translate it um, because it's, kind of difficult, you know, like, because it's a very sensitive way, the way that she wrote, uh, which actually this uh, phrase that she said created a lot of negative um, feedback in Brazil from Bra other Brazilians people, because people were like, what, the, what is this girl doing, kind of, you know, but basically she says, um, like, I, you know, but, uh, like me, who is a kind of person that, you know, generally speaking, when, w wherever I arrive, you know, um, I'm the latest, you know, kind of news that people will get, like, you know, meaning that she would be kind of an entertainer, uh, you know, would make people laugh, she says in the video. But here in Japan, aqui no Japão, eu vou ter que baixar bem a minha bolinha, meaning baixar a bola in Portuguese is an expression that means like, you know, you have to kind of, you know, calm down and, you know, be a little bit less right so that's what she's saying well here in japan clearly i will have to be you know less than usually what i am so that's what she said meaning that you know she kind of is realizing that uh, her behavior is not really you know something that people would actually enjoy and she would have to kind of you know cut it down a little bit um and then um, she also mentions the picture on, on the top here. She says, well, Japanese people wear masks even when they are not sick, so they don't have to talk to people. So then, you know, a lot of criticize that she got was because then the way that perhaps she mentioned these things, uh, it sounded like that she was criticizing Japanese people for not, you know, like accepting her behavior. Plus she says, well, you know, Japanese people are antisocial, like, you know, they don't want to even talk to, to you and they wear masks, right? Now, 
on that note, guys, uh, this is something very interesting to 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 to, to touch. Uh, you know, um, is that the mass culture. Um, Western culture now is more familiar with the masks because of the pandemic. We all had to go through it, you know, people hate it and so on. But uh, I don't know if you know this, but in Japan, we always had the mask culture, you know. And the thing is, you don't only wear a mask when you are sick, which is usually what happens in Western culture. In Japan, we wear masks, uh, you know, uh, also to not get sick, right? Or... Uh, you know, you wear masks because you don't want to get people sick, so, so to prevent that as well. And also we have the, the Kafun Show season, which is the high uh, hay fever season in Japan. People also wear masks because of that, you know. So, uh, and yeah, maybe there must be some people that they are in a bad mood, they don't want to talk to people, so they wear masks, uh, you know, so that way people will think that they are sick, they don't want to approach you, right? Maybe there are a few people like that, but my point is... Is part of the culture and it's normal in Japan to wear masks you know even if you're not if you don't have a runny nose or so so you know like assuming that people are antisocial or they're doing that just because you know they don't want to talk to you is a little bit negative so when you guys go to Japan please don't think that okay um, because it's normal to, to have people wearing masks and in fact you are expected to wear a mask if you have a runny nose okay do not get on a public transportation for instance without a mask if you clearly is showing symptoms of a cold okay um, and also uh, she was shocked that the, 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 in the trains um, people were so quiet right she said people don't talk on the trains and you can't even answer your cell phone right but that is true all right. Uh, when you guys ride um, the trains in Japan for the first time, you will notice. Um, but uh, people in Jap Japanese people are very quiet. You know, like you're supposed to be uh, not talking at all. You know, um, and uh, again, it's cultural. But especially the late hour uh, trains. You know, after work, people usually had a, a long day at work. They get on the train. If you have an hour, you know, a commute time that is kind of a little nap time that you can have or in the morning as well right so you know uh, that's why people usually are quiet they don't like when people are loud and um, and foreigners unfortunately do that a lot and if you do that you will get some dirty look you know that's common uh, because again you're not expected so the purpose of me mentioning this is to let you know that if you go to Japan when you go to Japan uh, you gotta be, you know, you are expected to be quiet. Can you talk to the people next to you? Of course you can. We do, especially if you are in an hour, right? But you don't, you know, you, you, you kind of talk in a soft voice. You're not loud. If you answer your phone, you are so expected to say, Hey, I'm on, I'm on the train right now. Can I call you back? Right? Very quietly, you know, but you won't be laughing. And so again, this is a very uh, cultural difference that you will feel when you go. All right. Now, that was reason two. Now, if we talk about the third reason why this influencer got canceled in Japan, I would say lack of knowledge. Okay. And she kind of gets it and she admits. She says in Portuguese, A verdade é que eu caí aqui de paraquedas uh, no Japão e eu não pesquisei nada sobre a, cult a cultura japonesa. Misspelling over there. Um, Anyway, in English would be, the truth is that I just landed in Japan without doing any research about Japanese culture, right? Um, and that is a good thing that she realized it, right? Uh, but unfortunately, perhaps she realized that too late because she ends up losing her volunteering position, right? Uh, and here she shows in her video some footage of, you know, the, the Kyoto... Uh, district of Gion where we have the geishas and Michaels walking and just actually a couple of uh, weeks or last month I don't remember probably you guys saw this video of a you know a, a, a tourist like literally going after a, a geisha you know and harassing her and that went huge in Japan and Kyoto actually banned a tourist from going to that street right so things like this are really bad 
affects you know people that actually know how to travel and behave in other countries and because of one or two people that you know kind of don't have any manners or etiquettes all of us kind of ended up paying the price unfortunately this happens quite a lot but in Japan um, it just happened in Kyoto right um, anyway, uh, something that I want to teach you guys here, a Japanese word, is chishiki busoku. All right, so chishiki busoku. Chishiki means knowledge, knowledge, and busoku means um, it's not enough. So um, you know, so that's why lack of knowledge. So chishiki busoku is something that uh, obviously is the reason for a lot of issues that we have in the world, right? But especially when you guys go to a country, and especially if that country is Japan, because Japan is such a huge has a huge contrast when it comes to cultural differences, right? Compared to Western culture. So it's really important that you guys do your research and you know and you know uh, how to behave, how to dress. For example, um, I work on a on a cruise ship, so we take guests all over the world, all around the world, right? So when we took some guests to um, the Emirates, you know, um, or some countries like that, we had to, to remind the guests on board. Uh, by the way, you know, like be careful the way you dress, like the, the female uh, guests, right? Or if you go uh, perhaps to a religious um, church, you're not supposed to be wearing, um, you know, um, tank tops, you have to have sleeves. So that's what I'm talking about, you know, when I say do your research because you don't want to be rude to the culture, to the people, to the locals, all right? Now, the fourth reason, the, and the last reason why she got canceled is, um, you know, in, for me is the, the the main thing, and it affects all of us is communication. Okay, so she says in Portuguese it says meu anfitrião me expulsou do meu voluntariado porque não gostou do meu estilo de comunicação. So uh, meu anfitrião here I believe was the person who would be hosting her. Um, you know, um, and um, so my host kicked me out of my volunteering because they didn't like the com my communication style. So I took a screenshot of the, you know, the screenshot that she had with communication with her host. So as you can see here, um, you know, um, she says, the one on the left, I am not free time like her. You ask me a lot of, a lot. It's stressful for me. And that just says, okay, oh, I can really see the rest, but I just made one question. I'm not stressing, but it makes me uncomfortable. So for a Japanese person to tell you that you make them un feel uncomfortable, trust me, they have all, they had a lot on their plates already because usually Japanese people tend to be very calm, very patient, you know, until they actually explode. But then... Um, this Japanese person said, I'm sorry it is difficult for me to adapt to you, but it was and is my concern before you came here. Your communication style is not comfortable for me. If you continue to say your own opinion to me, please leave here as soon as possible. I can't keep you here. It will make us stressful. So the, the English is a little bit... Um, uh, funny because obviously a lot of people in Japan, by the way, they don't speak English very well, okay? Um, so then you can find a little bit, you know, uh, funny English here and there. But we can get the idea, right? The idea is that clearly the Japanese person was fe was not feeling very, uh, you know, uh, pleased with the way that this person was communicating with them. Perhaps they were asking too many questions, you know, or, uh, you know, but... Um, uh, an interesting word here that the Japanese person used was adapt, right? So uh, it's difficult for me to adapt to you, which implies that perhaps they tried to, you know, understand this this influencer and help them out, but it's like it's I, I can't, it's too difficult, right? But guys, remember when we go to a country, we are the ones that should be adapting to the locals, not the other way around, right? So that's part of, you know, uh, being a, a good a tourist, right? Etiquette. Um, so when she says, you know, like, oh, you know, I got canceled because my host didn't like my communications 
style um, is not only the way that you talk, uh, perhaps texting, you know, we all know that texting can be a little bit tricky because we don't have the facial expression, you know, the tone of voice, so it can sound a little bit rude. Um, but it's also about how you behave, right? And we could see in the situations that this influencer had, the, the previous three reasons, basically, it kind of tells us a lot the way that she behaves, right? So I'm sure this person also knew that. So, you know, remember, communication is not only words, it's not only verbal communication, right? We also have, you know, the way that we behave, right, uh, with people. So, you know, it, it is a sh it's a shame that I'm not sure what kind of volunteering, you know, job or, 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 or course she was supposed to do, but it's a shame that it got canceled because of this, right? And perhaps it could have been um, prevented if, you know, she knew a little bit more, right? But anyway, um, I want to teach you guys something very, very, very Japanese. Okay, uh, which is kind of a, you know, a little wrap up of this um, is uh, an expression that we say is kuki o yomu. Kuki o yomu. So yomu is the verb to read, okay? Kuki means air, right? So read the air, right? So to read the air is a skill, is a survival skill in Japan. You need to know how to read the air in order to live in Japan, in order to be in Japan. Because again, you know, if we look back at the other the, 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 the other three reasons that, you know, I believe the situations that this influencer was, uh, she didn't read the air, right? Or perhaps, you know, I, I believe maybe she eventually did because she was like, well, I realized that I was too much and I had, you know, but again, you have to be very careful and you have to adjust yourself, right, um, to the, 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 the people around you, okay? And this is expected in Japan. I will make a video perhaps, you know, in the future uh, to talk about also, it has the negative side, right, uh, which is when you are too worried about people around you, you know, that becomes something negative and perhaps that's why, you know, we have... Uh, um, a lot of uh, suicide in Japan, right? This is something that is a, is a completely um, different topic for a, a lesson in the future that we can discuss more about Japanese culture. However, the point here is that reading the air, kukyo yomu in Japan, is a good thing um, as well, you know, because it, it makes, uh, it keeps the harmony, you know, in the Japanese culture. So we as foreigners, we are as tourists, when we go to Japan, we kind of need to be able to read the air, you know, read the people around us and see like, am I behaving in a way that it's not rude to the locals? It's not, uh, you know, it's not disturbing the local people. So as long as we keep like, uh, you know, that um, mentality, that antenna up, I think we will be okay, you know? So again, the purpose of this lesson is not, you know, to add any negativity into this story, um, but again, to learn from, I would say her mistakes, or should we say the things that she could have done in a different way. So when we go to Japan, we can have a great experience. All right, so if you stay until the end of this lesson, thank you for uh, yeah watching this video. I hope it added some knowledge to your, uh, you know, um, curious mind about Japan and Japanese culture. And I'm looking forward um, to, yes, yeah, see you around in the next lessons. Bye-bye.